Hi, Alejandro for the Audio Brewers. Let's encode any file to Ambisonic C in Preson Studio One. I'm just going to add a new track and set it to 916. And I'm just going to set the panner to be one of our Ambisonics decoders. Next, I'm just going to add any of the supported file formats. In this case, I'm going to add a 5.1 file. And even though Studio One tries to set the width of the track to 5.1, I'm going to keep it 916. Next, I'm going to insert AB encoder and set the input of AB encoder to match that of the file I dragged. And that's it. Front left. Front right. Front center. Back left. Back right. Now let's do the same with a stereo file. I'm just going to drag the stereo file to my track, make sure it remains with 916, and then I'm going to add AB encoder. In MB encoder, I'm just going to make sure that the input is set to stereo to match my file. And that's it. Any Audio Brewers plugin that I insert after AB encoder will now work natively in Ambisonics. Let's try it. Another thing you might want to do is to create a stereo object and send it to an Ambisonics bus. So for doing that, I'm going to drag my stereo file and convert it to an object. And then I'm going to send it to a new bus channel. And I'm going to make sure that this bus channel is 916 and its banner is any of our Audio Brewers decoders. Next, I'm going to insert AB encoder and set the input to 916 as Studio One is sending to this bus a 916 signal. As you can see, I can pan the object either from the panner or from AB encoder. And any Audio Brewers effect I insert after AB encoder is going to work natively in Ambisonics. Mm -hmm. 